Yeah, I'm in Gotham City in a Batmobile Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze What up? This is Swayze and did you miss me? Cause I missed you guys How you guys doing out there? Cause I'm doing great This Susan Pack got me dizzy CEO turned to a viewer We up the score But before I get into the video, let me introduce you people to my new and reoccurring best friends Now first up is Kevo, the demon And he says Susan in my pack. Indeed. Susan is indeed in the pack right now. Susan! But next up is Alijo, and he says, shout out SOB in a big deal. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. And last but not least is Kanan, and he says, go get you some from the store, Unc. And shout me out too. But there you have it, Kanan. I just shouted you out. And I appreciate you. And I appreciate all of you people who donate and contribute to the Bacon, Egg, and Cheese Fund. And if you too want to become one of Swayze's new best friends, just hit the Cash App. It's really that simple. Now let's get into the story because I think I'm like a day or two late with this. But come on, bro. It was the weekend. Your boy Swayze was getting into some things. But nonetheless, if you're not aware, it looks like 22G's woke up on the wrong side of the bed and let his intrusive thoughts take over. And this is what he said. I could be signed anywhere else. Let me go at this point. No hard feelings. At Atlantic Records. My A&R leaves the label, but leaves me in a spot with no A&R. Like the day room he is. I'm not signed to Cultivate It. I rock with y'all. Did, but I stream more than all your artists put together. Don't forget. Now, hold on. Let's just um mentally massage what's going on right now. Apparently, it looks like 22G's The General is not happy where he's at with his label. He probably feels like he's not getting the push that he needs from Atlantic. Who knows? They could be shelving his projects, which would cause frustration. And as you can see, he feels like he has nobody over there rooting for him when he spoke about the A&R leaving him and this, that, and the third. But let's move on. He also says, drill music in NYC is over. They signing anybody who GDK and they all trolling, dropping race like we met before or got some type of smoke. Some of these kids is enrolled in college. I think he's talking about Cal Henry Richardson with that one. And all, oh, I ain't never seen none of these kids, y'all making me hot with the trolling. We don't know y'all, especially the BX. It's no GDs there, so how y'all GDK? Stop trolling. And you know what? I can agree with 22 Gs on this one. For some reason, it seems like once you sign a deal, you start dropping the rakes. Like, what's that about? Is that a requirement? Like, is there a monthly rake dropping quota that these niggas need to meet? Like, what, what's going on right now? But he continues, I never seen five year old pop smoke, sleepy hollow, shy KB, love TG, Crippy, Nazi BK, Douglas Bernard Jr. None of them. How y'all GDK? Stop trolling and say y'all fans. Never seen Kenzo Baller, K Flock, Sosa Geek. None of these clowns. How y'all GDK? Y'all doing it for content. Go to Chicago with all that. Now after that, Fabio entered the chat and he said this. Niggas hide out four to five years. This say nobody seen them. WTF. Now I'ma first say this. I'm surprised that Favi didn't make no mistakes while typing this. Good job. You can read it. There's no misspellings. It's clear and concise. I'm proud of the guy. Because we all know Favi's biggest op was the spelling bees. But it looks like 22G's responded to Fabio, and he said this, Bro pushing 50, retire, but all his ops 25. Clown! Bro, Fabi ain't 50. Wait, is he? Nah, but all jokes aside, this whole old head thing is kind of confusing, you know? The other day I seen a 14-year-old call a 16-year-old a old head. At this point, I'm not even sure what's young anymore. But after that, it looks like 22 G's The General said this about Queen Dougie Von Flock 41 Sweepers 804 inside of G's. When he said, King Von passed away and his dog's out here humping his wifey on camera. But everybody GDK though. Damn. 22 G's The General took it there. 
Now after that, Sage really the Amazon assassin put this in his stories, and he said, Respectfully, BK got played out and they started Beth with the ex just to be relevant again. Let's be real, y'all GD's not really doing none for this drill rap. Be honest, don't lie. In 22, definitely not making more noise than us. Word of my dads. And after that, block work entered the chat. I was like, what? Where did he come from? But he said this, 22 G's, stop it. Our drill wave in Harlem, BX is way different. We don't even use the same beats. Long live KD, he started everything. Okay. And after that, 22 G said this about B-Love. I'm not beffing with B-Love just because I ended Don Q's career. Get out of here, kid. Your man still mad about that Don Q shit. And boy, don't even want smoke. He be trying to link with my town ops. And all. Like, bro, you was annoying. And TikTok, the only reason your song went up. The labels put a bag behind your song. You not going viral for real on TikTok. And he ends it off saying, won't be surprised if it's because they felt bad for what I did to your OG. Oh, no. Whether you have it, people, Swayze still doesn't have his silver play button. Queen Smoochie Block unfollowed me again a few days ago. And these niggas is out here beffing. 2 gs on bad timing. The city is in shambles right now. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Me